to Alan. Our travel to China was honestly pretty easy. And it was amazing. But yeah, it's, uh, it's been great so far. I think we're adjusting to uh, the jet lag way better than uh, two years ago in Iceland. Everyone's super friendly here and you know, there's no like bad places, at least where we have been. And once I got here, it was very beautiful. What the hell? This is uh, pretty good. Texas on B2. Today I'm gonna be playing some ping pong. Um, we arrived like around 4 p.m. and once it hit nighttime, Shanghai is so pretty. Looking in Shanghai, it looks beautiful. Um, the hotel is great here. So far, so good. This is my first international event, so traveling here has been pretty crazy and you know, it's a big experience for me and I'm looking forward to playing here. I would say the whole team is adjusting pretty well. Yeah, I'm excited. It's all of our first times being here. I never would expect to come to China, so it's been a very pleasant experience. Sick. How do you draw that in record time? <laughs> in record time. Yo, we, this is sick though. We gotta get a new one with the new yeah. hairstyle. Though. I know like the community's expectation is not for us to win. You know, my winner's mentality always tells me that if you don't win the whole damn thing, then nothing matters. But being realistic um, with this lineup, if we made it into a top four, Honestly, I wouldn't be like super happy, but I would feel a little rewarded inside that. I personally will not be satisfied if we don't win the tournament. I think that's the goal for everyone. You, even if you come second, you're still a loser. I would say our first goal is just to make it to the Mercedes-Benz Arena um, to play in front of the big crowd. Getting first place is the main, um, main thing with the champ points, and we have to make sure this trip is worth it. So there's San Fran and then El uh, Tequila for Camp Hours. Uh -huh. There's like the best flight I've been on. Like, really? Just sleeping. It is like, I just slept nine hours. Huh? What is this? Just coffee? Cookie? Like <laughs> um, I would say North America definitely has uh, the edge on, on different types of play styles. But the other regions are like super mechanically talented and they like pull rounds out that way, like playing with teamwork in that way. So it's a, it's a little bit different than the North American region, but I think we definitely have the upper hand versus all these teams with the strategy wise. Whether that's gonna keep going for the future, time will tell. I think once the talent disperses a little bit, you'll see other regions catch up if not already. Um, so I think that's why like North America is really good right now. You know, other regions are very, very in your face. Liat. Yo, did you guys figure out how to download the VPN? Nope. No. You guys don't have the VPN on your PC? No. Get the fuck out. Sorry. We're shooting content. Sorry. I have to restart. <laughs> And now that we're here, I expect nothing less as well. I think the team is gonna continue pushing and trying our 110% uh, during this event to try to show like, hey, G2 is, could be a top team. Um, and hopefully we come out with a strong win early versus T1. So as soon as we got here, we also had seen like some of the T1 guys. The first interaction I had was with Sia player actually. It feels like he was waiting in the lobby for me. It kind of perfectly matched up when, it, when we arrived. It was super wholesome seeing him and you know being able to give him a, a big hug after not seeing him for so long. And I, I could even see the look on his face. It, it meant a lot for him to just see us at this international event. Like, Honestly, it was pretty cool to see him knowing that he's still doing good, uh, even in a different region, and knowing that he's always my boy and he'll always be my boy. And I told him I wanted his jersey and I'm gonna give him one of mine, so I can't wait for that too. But once we hit the server, it's gonna be like we're enemies. I'm very excited for this match. I know he is too, so it'll be a, it'll be a great showing. I, I do a lot of homework. I watch all these teams play internationally uh, in, in their region, and I don't think anyone stands out as someone I would be scared of. Obviously, there are top teams, and um, you know the teams to beat. I would probably say uh, Heretics and Paper X, of course. But I think there's still very beatable teams as long as we're playing our A level, and so I'm just excited to play against them. Crazy stuff here. I mean, good shooting from G2, but it's it's just not enough. On his way, he is not ready for it. He can't really play. Oh! No leap. 
What is that? I don't see the side to play this one out. Oh, this is gonna be like that. He'll just work his way forward. The other way. We go right into overtime. A little bit of an overswing, I think, from Rossi. I think he got a little bit overconfident there. And what a gutsy play call here from G. It's icy! It's in the three! And just in the blink of an eye! They will all get mowed down! The blood of G2 washes them away! Damn close, but what a run back from down 3 9 at the half. A 14 12 victory. G2 win their opening. For me, my point of view of the game was mechanical diff plus nothing was working for us and I think it was kind of easy to brush off that loss and go into So right before we left to China, our practice room got a huge upgrade. Um, we got like a bunch of Herman Miller desks and chairs. We have our new like Herman Miller chairs and desks, so I'm kind of missing those, you know, I was getting used to that, that setup. We had some nice murals uh, on the wall and we have our Herman Miller like desks and chairs and so, like bean bags and, and just everything we need. Uh, you know, we just have everything we need back home and, uh, and that's because of Herman Miller, so. It's just way more comfortable for me personally, but it's still it's still a really good uh, really good setup that we got here. Yeah. Changing from Duelist to Sentinel wasn't really that hard because it's kind of something that I already did and obviously I didn't go through for like a long period of time because immediately after the first tournament that we played with those roll swaps, um, you know, we got some players cut but now it's a lot easier because I have a lot more time to practice it. Um, it's not hard at all to adapt because I think the way that I played Duelist kind of helps me play Sentinel. So I think, yeah, I think it's been very smooth. And for IC, we already had a uh, duelist role carve out for him, and he already has that skill set. So it wasn't that hard to integrate integrate him. Um, as far as like shaping up the team, that takes a while, honestly, and still it still is a work in progress. A lot of uh, our success has been contributed to just like working hard, and you know we've been uh, grinding together and just like working on our problems. Going to these Shanghai games, like I'm looking looking forward to them, but I'm also like very confident. I think we'll find con continued success if we keep going at it and just working hard together. The defense is G2 have been stalwart, they've been perfect, and now Boost Spot is somehow getting the lower HP than he had before. 14 ticks, the only thing keeping us from Lotus, and that's exactly where we're headed. We thought they were done, we thought they were dusted, but they're plenty alive. Lotus to decide it all. A break will keep us there. We'll see what happens on the other side of this. Hello. G2 looking to deal with a devastating death blow. On to heretics. And what looked unreachable, what looked uncertain, will be found. G2 are headed to the Mercedes Benz Arena. What a war both these teams just went through. But G2, the ones. Yeah, I'm
到了美国国际联赛，但他们确实给我们展现出了非常强大的韧性，非常强大的队伍。So yeah, I haven't been to an international masters since back in Reykjavik, which was like two years ago. And as everyone knows, we had a terrible showing there. We didn't win a single game after making the playoffs from uh, being the top seed. So we we're very unhappy with that. And we're super happy to be back. And we're even hungry. We're more hungry than ever. So. We're definitely going to be putting in the work and putting in the time to make sure that we do good in this event. We learned so many things from, from that point that we just know this event is going to be much easier for us and uh, the competition, our competition level will be much better. And honestly, it means a lot that we were able to make it to Shanghai and that we were able to make it through the gruesome playoff stage, but I think we'll definitely be ready for this and, you know, if we don't win, then we're not satisfied. Um, I hope we get to play 100 Thieves in a BO5 because it'd just be funny to beat them. Yep. All right, well, that was Run It Back with Trent and Leaf, and we hope to see you guys next time. Uh, we have a match again tomorrow, so see you there. This is not the first time, not the second, but the third time these two teams have played against each other, and G2 have always come out on top. But this time around, it feels like heretics, however, are actually in championship form. You know, being a team that sucks internationally, and all that kind of stings and motivates me to really use this tournament as that chance to prove to myself that you know I, I'm, I can be a top player on a top team. Keeping us from Lotus, and that's exactly where we're headed. We thought they were done, we thought they were dusted, but they're plenty alive. Win their opening series here at Master Shanghai. Just tremendous tenacity from G2. I love the way that they never gave up. They always... You're gonna remember back to the pistol when Benji was tucked in a tree like this. Him and Patty Tech worked this position so well. Are they gonna be able to suss this out? Patty starts getting a sense of it. The pit could just come into play immediately. Alarm bomb cleared out. Push around the back of the side here. Icy hunting sends the rocket. Not gonna be able to find that kill. Boom! Somehow settings the game. Finds the kill and Benji! He's done it again! Trent gets the plan, but now he's in a 1v3. The lockdown in play, and the hopes and dreams of G2 have come to an end. like we wanted to win right honestly like we exceed, exceeded expectations we have a lot of positives that came out of this right we didn't we didn't really think that we would get here right so i know it hurts i know it hurts but the story doesn't end here okay we got all all split two or stage two we got champs we're gonna make it the champs Okay. But don't think this is the final chapter. Right? I know it's gonna be tough to think about anything else, but like <coughs> there's so many good positives, so many good takeaways. Like we got closer as a unit, closer as a team. We got the experience this beautiful city, played in front of eighteen thousand fans, right? Let's let's use this pain of this loss as motivation to like drive even like be even more dedicated, be even more together as a team, all right? Don't let it drive drive us apart. Like, we lose as a team here, okay? We lost as a team. We're a really better team. But they won't be next time, okay? I promise you that. This is Seo, GM of the Valorant team at G2. I'm here with Josh RT, our head coach. Hey, this is Josh. Uh, we just came out of a loss uh, against Team Heretics, 0-3. Um, obviously we hope for the best, but at the end of the day, we had a great run at this tournament. I think we grew as a team, honestly. It was a fun three weeks at Shanghai, and the support has been amazing. This trip was amazing for us, I think. Um, 
we came into a foreign country not expecting a lot of things, you know. I think the fans were great, the country was great, Shanghai was great, all the staff was great. Um, and yeah, I think this will be an unforgettable, forget, yeah, unforgettable moment for us. Um, we have a stage two coming up in the next two and a half weeks. A lot to prepare. Um, ready to go home, get some rest, um, assess, reassess, and fix our mistakes. And look back at what we did correctly, I think. Yeah, I think you can expect a better G2 next time. But, uh, what does it mean, Didi? It says, uh, uh, hello, thank you, please bye. Yeah, yeah. Oh, please bye. We're the Chinese. The reception from the Chinese fans were pretty incredible, like greeted by so many people that were so passionate about Valorant. I had so many great experiences, man. At the venue, they were cheering for us and always wanted to take pictures with us. It felt really like heart like heartwarming, you know? The reception from Chinese fans was insane. I mean, everywhere that we kind of went around the general like hotel and like the venue, you know, there was no hatred from them. There was no booing. It was always positivity and always trying to bring us up. Asia is really big in gaming, so I was glad to experience it myself. Um, everybody was really like cheering for us or just really wanted like a signature or um, a photo. So it was definitely really, really cool. It, it just felt very surreal to have so many international fans, you know, I wasn't really expecting this, being not on home soil, but they, they welcomed us with open arms, um, and they're some of the nicest people I've ever met, so I'm very grateful for the experiences I had with them, and thank you for being our fans. What I'm most looking forward to after the event is definitely getting back home. I'm a very picky eater, so I don't I haven't been eating too much good food here, but I will say the steaks and, and stuff like that have been really nice. I'm excited to go back home. We're going to have a couple off days, going to see family, going to see friends. But uh, I'm also looking forward to just playing in, a, in, my, in, my, in the prac room with all our new Herman Miller stuff. Before we left, we had the Herman Miller desks and chairs. I'm honestly excited to go back to our facility, just going back to our home comfort um, with our amazing chairs, our, like the Herman Miller chairs. So we got our walls painted, we got Herman Miller desks, chairs, awesome PCs. So I'm just excited to get back to that. Um, play with the boys in the facility. So the setup here wasn't bad, but it's just Herman Miller stuff, so it just clears. The chair is super comfortable, the desk is adjustable, I get to put it wherever I want, so it definitely just clears. So definitely the two most exciting things I'm looking forward to get when I get back. I just like can't wait to use all of those new products. For the majority of the year is definitely a positive. Um, so I just can't get, I can't wait to get back to the grind. And really that spot is just starting to feel like home, so I'm excited to go back. I'm not trying to be the, the, the one to beat our ass after a loss. I'm hurting too, but today and the day before was unacceptable in terms of if we want to be champions. If we just want to be top four contenders internationally, fuck it, man. Let's just try to strive for this every time. But let's level up and let's push harder than ever on the right things. The right things, okay? We know what it takes. Out of each and every one of us, we know what the holes were. If you guys look back on this match right now, you know what the holes are. You know what was missing, what, what they had and what we didn't, okay? So we focus on that, and then next time we use this experience so that next time we win, and it's just it's just a trajectory. It, it'll happen. It'll come. But